Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install backed up games or homebrew apps on your PS Vita 3.69 or 3.70 with custom firmware installed. This also works on the PS TV. That is what I'm using. And um, I just noticed something. Last time I made my video, as you can see, if you're looking at the system software version right now, last time it was 3.70, but it didn't have the two Chinese symbols afterwards. Um, but now it does. So yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, I guess it just took like a fresh reboot to actually show them up. So if you're having that problem as well, uh, maybe just reboot and just launch the hack again. But let's just go back, let's just go back again. And what we're going to do, we're going to scroll up and we need to press X to go onto Henkaku settings. From here we need to tick this, enable unsafe homebrew. If we don't have this ticked, we won't be able to install the VPK files. So once we've got that done, press circle to go back and then we can press the home button and we can close out of the system settings. Next we need to go and start up VitaShell. Um, once we've started this, what we actually have to do is press select. Um, this is actually going to bring up an FTP server. Actually you have a choice. If you press circle on that, if you press start, you can switch it. So um, we have got the choice between, as you can see, select buttons. We've got the choice between USB connection or FTP connection. This is a PSTV, so FTP connection is the best. If you, as a, if you have a PSV2, you can also select USB and just plug it into your computer, just like on many of my other tutorials. We're going to use FTP in this video, so just press start again, then press select. Let's go and connect this to our computer. I will be showing you guys what to do, and um, yeah, I'll show you guys what to do next. So yeah, this is the software I will be using to connect my PSTV onto my computer via the FTP server. This is called FileZilla, and if you guys wanted to get it, all you have to do is just click on Download FileZilla Client, and then select the free version, and it will download onto your computer. You can also get this on other operating systems. Um, if you don't have Windows, you can get it on some others as well. And yeah, this is probably the best free one um, that I actually use. Now, the next link in the description will be some of the homebrew apps. So from here, we can find the homebrew apps that we wish to install. Now, this website is one of the best basically all you want to do is find a homebrew app that you like the look of it could be a really simple one um, like I actually just got this one just to test out I've actually made a video on this quite a while ago when it came out um, but once you find a homebrew app all you have to do is click on it and you can just click on download VPK and that will literally just start downloading so again I've already downloaded this uh, I've got that somewhere in my downloads and um, if you guys wish to get the backup games I can't provide the links to those these are full like you know PSV to games but you can install them um, by watching this video. So yeah, once you've got your VPK files and your games, what you want to do is just go to your downloads folder. As you can see, I've got some here. So I've got a homebrew app, um, I've got an official game, this is Ridge Race, so the game. As you can see, this one's around 600 megabytes, so we can tell that this is a game. Uh, we've got Switch View and Vita Doom as well. So these are all homebrew apps. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and open up FileZilla. You should install it. Um, here I've got it, so I'm just going to refresh this. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to connect over onto my PS TV. So you put the host up here and you put the port in here and then you just click on quick connect obviously mine is going to be different click ok and now it's just going to connect to it as you can see connected successfully so from here what we can do we need to go into the uxo so double click on this and we can actually just paste in our games here so we can literally select all of them just drag over and drop them in there so now if you have a look down here it's going to say how long it's taking so the first one is this homebrew app then we've got our um, you know actual game we've also got doom and stuff so yeah, we have just got to wait for these to copy across um, I think USB connection is probably faster than FTP not too sure but yeah we're just gonna wait anyway and I will show you guys what to do once they've been copied across Okay guys, so once it's done, if you click on successful transfers, we can actually have a look and see what copied across. So as you can see, we've got all of them, they all copied across successfully. So what we can actually do now is go back onto our PS TV or PS Vita, we can install them and we can test if they actually work. Okay, so now we're back. What we can do is press circle to cancel off this message. And if we scroll down and press X on the UXO and scroll all the way down on here, we can find all the VPK files that we copied across. So it's very easy. You just press X and then X one more time and it will actually start installing them. Sometimes it comes up with a third message, um, but you pretty much just press X on all of the messages and it will just install these VPK files. So that's Doom installed. Now let's install this one. And that is that one installed. And once you have installed them, you can actually delete the VPK files to free up space. So we can press triangle, go down to delete, press X, X, and it's just going to delete them. I'm also just going to install this full game. Now, I don't know if I've got enough space to install this. I'll try and do it anyway. Oh, yeah. 
I need some more space to install this one. Oh, let's just install this third one up here and that should work. Oh, so even this one doesn't work. Okay, so yeah, the PS TV literally has like a one gigabyte, um, you know, memory card, or like hard drive. So here are the two apps I could get because I actually ran out of space. Let's just try a switch view first. As you can see, all homebrew apps work perfectly fine on 3.70 and 3.69. This basically just makes your PSV to look just like a um, Nintendo Switch, I guess. We can exit out of that. And then we have also got Doom as well. So let's just test out Doom quickly. Let's just go and start a quick game. Um, I actually had to copy across the WAD quickly. But if I just press start on this, I'm pretty sure it should load. There you go, we have got Doom working perfectly fine. So that is how you get backed up games and homebrew apps on your PS Vita or PS TV running custom firmware on firmware version 3.69 and 3.70. Okay guys, because that other um, game didn't work, or it's just I ran out of storage so I couldn't install it. Um, what I've actually done is I've just got an Angry Birds VPK, if I just show you on my UXO right now. There you go, Angry Birds, I've already installed it because it takes a, a few minutes. But once you have installed your VPK, obviously you can find it on your home screen. This is a complete game backup of Angry Birds. I will be able to play this online and get trophies, as you can see. That's my PlayStation Network name, and I've been playing it. So let's just play it right now. And um, as you can see, the games load perfectly fine. So there are actually two types of game backup you can install on PS Vita. These are like the VPK ones, they're like easiest. I'll probably make another video on the second type of um, games you can install. And um, yeah, let me just show you that this works and everything. So as you can see, Halloween Angry Birds, and it works perfectly fine. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.